Hey guys, this is Adam Lane from PocketNow.com, and in this video we're going to take a look at the new Foursquare 3.0 app for Windows Phone 8. So first off, I'm going to press the Bluetooth button in my car, and we're going to check out the speech uh, interface. Here we go. And so I'm going to just go to the help real quick, and we choose apps, and then there's Foursquare. And this is what we can say. So Foursquare, check-in, show leaderboards. There's all your options. Foursquare, check-in. Checking in. Now, this would have been really cool if it had just responded with check-in to Stu Leonard's, Stu Leonard's Wines, or the Home Depot. And then I could just say which one I wanted to check into. But instead, it just loads the check-in screen. Not terribly useful. Uh, definitely not useful for hands-free checking in. Hopefully, uh, they'll realize that they can make this much better. Anyway, there's the check-in screen, and you can choose uh, wherever we are. And you can choose the usual stuff, post a picture. You cannot tag your friends. That is not an option still. So let's go back to the full app. There we are. Of course, it has multiple live tiles, multiple tile sizes. Here's the explore screen. You do not get the places closest to you. These are just uh, kind of suggestions. So popular for dinner. I'm a regular there. And the check-in button is down there, of course. There's settings, all their menu options. Searches up there, you can see specials. So we can see what is uh, going to give us a nice discount there. Next is activity. Now, unfortunately, this does not load activity based on uh, proximity. Some of these people are very far away, and it doesn't tell you. So it's just your friends and who did what recently. There's your profile, of course, and back to explore. Now when you go to check in, you can you can pin your check in button to the start screen. That makes it really easy to quickly go and hit the check in button and you're there. So another thing, if you're in if you're in a location card, you can see information about it. You can see the address. You can actually get directions, call it, visit the Twitter account. So if you get directions, it's going to Nokia here. You've reached your destination. And it tells me I'm already here. So in the settings, you can turn on notifications for comments and regular notifications, but it doesn't, I haven't seen any notifications that have told me somebody so-and-so checked in nearby. So I don't think that works. Now, here's another cool feature. If you tap the map at the top, you get the full map. Uh, these are still just suggested places. It's not actually what's nearby. But if we go to the camera, we get a augmented reality view. Obviously if I turn the camera you'd see different locations and then we can go to uh, you know, what is in that general direction. You can also pin these specific locations to your start screen, save it to a list, and you see there's sometimes there's a menu. You can see. So that's a quick look at the new Foursquare 3.0 app for Windows Phone 8. A lot of nice new features, uh, some not available on other devices. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and that's it for now.